What's up YouTube? Na-miss niyo po ba ako? Ang tagal na po namin din nakapag-vlog kaya na-miss ko na po sobra yung mag-vlog tapos na-miss ko po kayo. At ito po yung aking kwarto. Ito na po ang magiging bagong studio. At syempre guys, may bago na naman tayong unboxing at ito ay ang pinaka-hype na Jordan 1 ngayon 2020. Mas hype pa to sa Jordan 1 Dior. So let's go! Okay guys, open na natin. Wow! Guys, ang lupit nito. So, this is the most anticipated Jordan 1 of the year. So, guys, ang tawag dito ay ang Jordan 1 Dark Mocha. Wow, ang ganda. Yes, yes, yes. So, ito guys ay nakuha ng tito ko sa Nike Park. First time niya lang kasi mananalo sa raffle. So, guys, sobra saya niya. At special thanks nga po pala guys sa akin tito Dudong. Dahil siya nag-pick up ng Jordan dun sa Nike Park. Kasi guys, pag nanalo ka sa Nike Park, hindi na pwede ang shipping. I-claim mo na lang sa store. Mahirap pag hindi ka nakatira sa Metro Manila. Anyways, madaming nagkukumpara nito sa Travis Scott Jordan 1. Kasi nga, parehas ang colors na ginamit at vintage yung vibe niya. Which is the same with Travis Scott. Yung iba ang tawag dito ay The Poor Man's Travis Scott Watch. Pero para sa akin, impossible to maging Poor Man's kasi ang retail nito, 8,000 na tapos. Ang resale value pa ay nasa 17 to 20,000 pesos. So, anong Poor Man's doon? Pero hindi talaga natin maitatanggi na inspired ito ang Travis Scott Watch. Sobrang hype kasi noon at sobrang mahal. Okay, so let's get a closer look at this sneaker. First on the toe area, we have the sale colored leather. The leather quality is similar to the royal toe and light smoke gray. Surrounding the toe area is a black leather panel and the quality seems decent. Moving up, we have this black flat lace and a white nylon tongue with a black Nike patch at the top. On the lateral and medial side, we have the same leather panel and a black swoosh. Moving on to the back area, we have this dark mocha new bag that has that coloring changing effect. And on the collar area, we have the same dark mocha new back with the wings logo ink in black and at the top is a sale colored leather. Lastly, we have the sale colored midsole and a black outsole. Here is the on-fit look.
quality, the black leather panels, the new back is pretty decent, but not the white part. It feels synthetic. Sayang kung kasing ganda lang niya ang Jordan 1 Midnight Navy in terms of leather quality. Ito na sana ang pangtapat talaga sa Jordan 1 Travis Scott. Okay, so for most sneaker heads, ito na guys. Ang Jordan 1 of the year. Pero sa tingin ko, kung alang Jordan 1 Travis Scott, hindi magiging hype ito. Kaya, um, hindi din tataas sa resale value nito. Okay guys, so what do you think about this colorway? Is this the Jordan 1 of the year or not? Comment down below what you think as always. And thank you guys for watching. Please leave us a like and subscribe for more videos. Peace and God bless. Bye-bye.